Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In today's video you will find out how the price of Bitcoin has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. If we look at the hourly time frame for Bitcoin, the price went up only slightly with around 1.4% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 30,136. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 100 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 29,967 it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 30,197 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 48, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Moving to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the downside. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, the price crossed the 50 SMA upwards it's a strong signal that there has been a higher than average volume. The current price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 29,790 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 30,144 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Moving to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 50, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking at the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Looking at the daily simple moving averages, the price broke the 20 SMA to the downside but the volume wasn't very high, which means it is not a very strong signal. For this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 34,599. Moving to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI of 34 is in the lower region, which means that the price is oversold and a rebound or some kind of consolidation is possible. Moving to the daily MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside but it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. Next.